thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be coloring this adorable magnolia image called Wizard Tilda. Isn't she too cute? I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, go ahead and leave me a comment and I will make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Mina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. So let's start out by outlining our image. For that, we're going to use W0, double zero, and our colorless blender. I'm going to start with my W0. I'm going to put that where I want it to be a little bit more shadowed. So let's do underneath of her leg. And I'm just going to swipe away from her. And then let's go over here and we'll do a tad bit under her arm. Here, let's go down here below her dress. And over here, she's got her head tipped, so let's do a little bit over here. And then on this side, she's got some hair flowing. And let's see, let's go underneath of her wand. And I didn't worry about those stars, I just wiped right over the top of them. As we're going to color those yellow later, so that won't, we'll color that up. Okay, then I'm going to take my W00, and I'm going to go right over that last color, and I'm going to pull out further away from my girl, and you can go as far or as skinny as you want. I'm just going to swipe out until my hand reaches the end of where it wants to, to go. It just stops and then come back. I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to go a little bit above her head so it doesn't look like a straight line on the top. Go down there and grab that other section. And come out here past her hair. And back down to the other side. I like to do it first, so in case I get any on my person, I can erase it. Then I'm going to take my colorless blender, and I'm going to go over both of those and go out into the white. If I do it first, too, I don't have to worry about picking up any of the colors on my coloring and pulling it into the background which is something I would definitely do. Yeah, we're just going to work our way back down to her foot. Let's give her a little something to stand on. For that, we're going to use W3, 1, and double zero. I'm going to start with my W3. And let's, I try to go a little bit above her shoe, so let's go a little bit above her sole. And then we're just going to go back this way. And if you get a little bit on her sole, that's not going to matter because we're going to color that a dark brown. We'll just cover that right up. Then we're going to add a little dab of W1. And then some W00. to go back with my darkest, which was W3, and put a little of that back on. Let's do her skin next. For that, we're going to use E11, 21, 00, 000, and for her cheeks, I'm going to use R02, 12, and 11. I'm going to start down here on her legs with my E11. And let's do a little bit underneath of her, her dress. And then I'm going to come in on the inside of her leg and go around this little knee bump. Like that. And then on the same thing on this side, let's go a little bit underneath of her dress. And there's already some little dots there, so I just kind of covered those up. And again, we'll go around her knee. 
Then we want to add some E21. I refilled my pen before I came to color, and that one was, I put too much in this one. So I had to wipe it off there. We don't want it to make a big blob. That will not be attractive. And then I'm going to add E00 across the entire thing. I decided today I would clean some of my pens before I used them. Maybe that way they wouldn't be quite so sticky. I'm going to give it a second coat of my E11. And then let's do another coat of our E21. And then our E00. All right, let's go up here and do her hand. So again, start with your E11. And I'm going to go down next to her coat. And then for this hand over here, I'm going to add a little dab to her thumb or her index finger. And then she's got a little bit of her finger poking out over here. I'm just going to color that in so I don't forget about it. Then we want to add E21. And then our E double zero. And then I'm going to do a second time, so let's do E eleven. And then E twenty one. And then we're going to oops, put E double zero on that. I come clear up here. And then I want to go over that with my E triple zero. For her neck, let's do E11 right underneath of her chin. I'm going to come down the inside of that coat. And then we'll add E21. Uh oh, it's getting too wet again. Let me wipe it off. I just shouldn't have got so crazy with my refilling. I decided it was getting kind of sticky that I would need to, um, E00, that I would need to put a little dunk them in some alcohol in a little Ziploc bag and clean the ends because they were looking kind of crusty. <laughs> they color a lot better if they're not like uh, crusty and smushy. So this is E11 and then my E21 and then my E000. And then we'll go up here and we'll do her cute little face. So grab your E11 again, and let's do up here underneath of her bangs. She's got a little bit of her face or her skin showing in between her bangs there, so I'm going to go ahead and go up in there. And then I'm going to bring this color down and around by her chin. And let's do a little bit right here. Then I'm going to add E21. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this color all the way around. And I'm also going to give her a little bit of a nose right in between her glasses here. And then we're going to add E double zero. And 
and then E triple zero. And then we'll add a second coat after we do her cheek. So let's do RO2. And I try to keep it in between these little dots that are already on her face. I use those as my guide. And then we're going to add R12. And then R11. I did a better job filling that one. It didn't make a big mess. And this one's RO2. And then I'm going to go back with my E00. And let me see. Let's grab E11 and fix this nose thing here. And then let's go over that with our E, whoops, E00. And then I'm going to go over her entire face with my E triple zero. And then from here, I decide if I want to put more pink on her cheeks. And I think I like them like that, so I'm going to leave them. For her hair, we're going to use E43, 53, 50, and E57. And we're going to start with our E43. Let's go down here and do these cute ones that are hanging out at the bottom so I don't forget those. this around my little curly cue. Okay, then let's go up here and we'll do her face. So let's start up here at our bangs. I try to follow along in the direction that they're going. over here we've got some that looks like it kind of dips from behind and maybe come up a little bit over here and away from the side of her face there a little bit and then from up here on the top add a little bit and the same thing for this side And then let's do a little bit down here and some of these little curly cues. Then I want to add E53. I'm going to go back down here and do these at the bottom again so I don't forget. I need post-its, I swear. And then up here on her face, or up next to her face, let's go around a little bit. And her bangs. And over here. Then let's add E50. I'm just going to wipe over her entire hair area. Then I'm going to go and add some E57. I don't want to add too much. I'm just going to add it where I want some dark area. So let's start up here at the roots of her crown. That. 
And then let's work some of these bangs. And over here. And then let's do this side of her bangs, or her roots. I'll bring this down just a little bit more. And maybe have a little bit in these curves. And let's get some down here on the bottom for little curly cues. Then I'm going to add a little dash of my E43. Let's hop over here and color these stars real quick. I'm going to do those with Y35. And I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to color them in. And then later I'm going to cover them up with some stickle stardust. So they have some sparkle. And I did the little twirly line here with my um, Spica Clear Glitter Pen so that it could also have some sparkle. Let's go ahead and do the stick too. So that's going to be E47, 44, and 42. And I'm going to start with my E47. And let's do a little bit coming away from her hand. And then I'm going to go along the bottom of her stick. And then right here there's a little swirly thing. I'm going to or not. I'm going to just brush over that. And then let's brush up a little bit in here. Then I'm going to add E. Whoops, that was the wrong one. This is E47. Let's start with that. Good job, Heather. I wonder it looks so light. Okay, now let's put on E44. And then let's go over both of those with our E42. For her shoes, we're going to use E49, 47, 44, 43, and 42. I'm going to do E49 on the sole of her shoe, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Get the darkest one out of the way. And I don't have to worry if I color over the top of it. Then we'll do E47 to do these laces. And then for shoes, we'll use 44, 43, and 42. So I'm going to start with my E44. And I'm going to do both sides. And this side. And I tried to bump up where there's a little, where her boot goes back. Then we'll do E43. And then 
E42. I'm not worried that it didn't blend because I want to give it a second coat. And then we'll add E44 again. And then a second coat of E43. Doing the laces first, I didn't have to worry about coloring over the top of those. And then our E42. And I like to wipe over the entire thing. Let's do the cuffs on her jacket, her belt, and this little accent here on her jacket with E44, 43, 42, and 47. And I'm going to start with my E44. And let's start over here on this cuff. I'm going to do that right along the edge. And there was a little bump right here, so I'm going to bring that down as kind of like a little wrinkle in her cuff. And then we'll do the bottom. And I'm going to color the inside of her um, outfit a different color, so we're not going to color this part. And I'll bring this around and bring that wrinkle up a little bit on this side. That. Then, let's see, her belt. Let's do... that. And then how about this cuff over here? So she's got a little bit of the outside of her cuff showing out here on the edge, so I'm going to be really careful and do that. And then we want to do underneath here. And again, we want to add a little bit of a line here. And then, let's see, let's do up here on her collar. And how about a little bit down here on the bottom? Then we're going to add E43. And we're just going to go clear back across like, and add some to each little section. And then her cuff on this side. Then we're going to add E42. Then I want to do a second coat, so let's do E44 again.
and her cuff on this side. Then I'm going to add E43. And then the cuff on this side. And then we're going to go over that again with our E42. Okay, then we're going to take E47, and I want to make this some really dark spots. So let's start over here on this cuff over here. I'm going to use this to go around the back and along the edge of that seam. And then I want to make that little line. Okay, and then for the bottom, I'm going to go along the bottom and then back around where you can see the outside of our cuff right here. And then let's do a little line on this side. Then let's see for her belt. Let's do a tad over here on this side. And we'll add that little line. Same for this side. And then we we'll do up here on her collar. And let's do a little dab right next to her hair and where her belt or her accents go behind her belt. And then over here on this collar or this cuff, we're going to go right along the top. And then we want to add in that line. And then I'm going to soften that with my E44 just a little bit. And then she's got a little piece of ribbon on the bottom of her dress that I'm going to use E47 on to color in. Let's hop down here and do her socks. For that, we're going to use C1 and C0. And I'm just going to start with my C1, and I'm going to do each one of these little lines. And later, you're going to put the sign right, or the sentiment right over the top of this. But I still colored them in just in case there's some of her socks showing and I didn't put the sentiment in the exact place. Then this is C0. And I'm just going to go over the edge just a little bit. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white in there. For her jacket, we're going to use R27, 35, 43, and 32. So let's start with our R27. I'm going to start inside of her cuff. So let's go ahead and color it inside right up here all the way in. So I don't have to worry about that. And then I'm going to come down here and do a little bit in here. And then away from her hand. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. So let's go underneath of her hand and then brush down along the seam or the inside of her coat 
and then I'm just going to brush this down just a little bit more. For her sleeve, let's do right here. And this little wrinkle, let's do on this side. And then for this sleeve, Uh, let's give this one a little wrinkle right here. Okay, and let's add some R35. And then R43. And I wasn't worried that it didn't blend because I want to add a second coat. I want it to be really red. And then our R32. Right, then we're going to go with our R27 a second time. And then R35. And R43. And then our R32, just a little bit here on the side. Okay, let's do the bottom in this little section right here. So again, go with your R27. And let's do away from the side like this. And then for the coat bottom, let's go along. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line first so I can get close to the edge. And then from that line, I can set my pen down and pull in without having to worry about coloring outside the lines as much. And same for this side, we're gonna draw a line. Hopefully I can stay inside the lines. And then again, I will pull away from that line out here to make it a little bit wider. I'm going to go with R35 and I'm going to fill the rest of this section up here in. And then let's add to each of these. And we're just going to give that a second coat too, so don't worry. Then R43. And then our four, our R thirty two, and 
Then we're going to start over with R27. Let's go up here. And then R35. And R43. And then lastly, our R32. For her dress, let's use R32, RV42, R20, R11, and R35. I'm going to start with my R32. Let's add a little dab of that up here. And then I'm going to do a little bit by each of these little lines. And don't worry, because we're going to give it a second coat. And then RV42. R20. Let's bring this one around like this. And then our R11. And then we're going to start over, so grab R32. V42. R20. And R11. And then I took my R35 and I just did a little line down each of these seams. So here is our beautiful wizard Tilda all colored up. Didn't she turn out cute? Then again, here's our finished card. So on our finished card, you have this happy sentiment that is um, matted. So there's a brown one and a red one, so put those together. And it's popped up, and the sentiment here's popped up. Then I did some glossy accents on her glasses, some spick of glitter pin in her hair to add sparkles, and on this little line here. And then I did um, stickle stardust for these little stars to give them some sparkle. Then you have a star here that's behind the mat. And this star is kind of folded over the top. There. This little sentiment here is from the CC Designs Birthday Wishes stamp set. It is not included in the kit. You get this one sentiment. If you hate that, you'll have to cut out a new tag and put something else there. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.